Is this our one and only last chance to get additional stimulus checks? Let's get into it and talk through this very important topic. But really fast, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I am your one and only daily advocate as I'm back for you each and every day with all of the latest updates and maintaining my commitment to you and this community as a whole, which is to be here every single day to talk through all all of these very important topics and to help you out in any way that I possibly can get all of the money and benefits that you're possibly eligible to receive as a result of everything going on right now. So again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below and I'll continue to be here for you every single day and that is my promise. All right, let's get into this as this is a big question that I continue to see down below and it's asked in a variety of different ways. If we don't get a stimulus check right now with the legislation that Congress is currently working on, is this our last opportunity? Once this is gone, is that it? Or is there potentially more opportunity at some point in the future to get additional stimulus checks? Now, I'm just going to say this. The simple answer would be no, this is absolutely not our last opportunity. So as we know right now, Congress is working on a variety of different things, the legislation, the packages that they're working on. And if they, for some reason, do not add additional stimulus checks or some kind of direct payments to the people, if that is not added in here, this would not be our last opportunity to get some type of additional payments to the people. Now they could call it some kind of thing like an economic impact payment, EIP, a stimulus check, direct payments, adult tax credit, UBI, GBI, monthly stimulus checks. I mean, there's literally so many different names that they could call it right now and add it into these packages or at some point in the future. Now, we do know this much as well. The president has already alluded to additional stimulus packages coming relatively soon after the legislation that they're currently working on right now. Did you catch that? About a week ago or so, the president was out speaking and he said, if we do not get what we're currently working on now in this package, they'll come back and get the rest later in another package. So there's already been talk from the president and we've heard this from people in Congress previously that they're already planning on additional packages after this. So this is absolutely absolutely not uh, the last opportunity that we have in front of us right now to get additional stimulus checks. Now remember this, let me give you a quick example on this as well. Remember back in late 2020, there was that whole talk back and forth, there was a lot of drama going on about this whole thing, but there was a talk about a, about a $600 stimulus check, and then there was talk about a $2,000 stimulus check. Do you remember this whole thing? Well, guess what Congress did? During that time, when there was these requests for a $2,000 stimulus check, the House literally wrote up the legislation. It took them about an hour to write up. It took them virtually no time at all. It was about one page. It was called the Cash Act. Do you remember this? Um, there was a lot of stuff going on at that time. It was, I mean, it was all over the place at that time. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, we covered all of that as it was going down in real time. But yes, basically the House wrote this whole thing up. It was literally like one page of legislation. It was called the Cash Act. Basically what they did is they simply wrote out that the stimulus check would be changed from $600 to $2,000. That's essentially all they did. It was one page of legislation. Well, it passed through the House and eventually it never did go anywhere. But my point is, with this whole Cash Act that they wanted to do back in late 2020, that's all it really took was one page of legislation to basically say a $2,000 stimulus check would be sent out to the American people. My point is, at any given point, Congress could do the exact same thing once again. Write up one page of legislation and say, hey, let's issue a $1,400 economic impact payment, otherwise known as stimulus check. Hey everyone, let's issue a $2,000 economic impact payment, otherwise known as stimulus check, and let's get it out to these people under these income thresholds, and boom, let's get it out right away. I mean, literally, they could write it up in probably less than one page of legislation, and they could get it through at any given point. Now remember, the first three stimulus checks were actually referred to as EIP, economic impact payments. We refer to them as stimulus checks because that's what we recognize and that's what we call them, but technically um, they were actually called EIP. But either way, it's the same exact thing. But the whole point with that is, remember, these payments could come through as literally 
any kind of name that you could ever possibly want to call it. You could call it a glazed donut payment to the people. I mean, you could literally give it any name that you possibly wanted. It could be called an EIP. It could be called a stimulus check. It could be called an adult tax credit, a monthly stimulus check, UBI, GBI, or any other kind of payment that they wanted to send out and any kind of fancy name that they could possibly think of to give it before they actually write the legislation and pass it. So one other thing that we need to recognize as well, Remember, they've also talked about adding adult stimul or sorry, adult tax credits into this next package. Remember that? Now you might be wondering, what is this? Let me tell you what it is. You probably recognize the CTC, child tax credit, that is going on right now, right? These are the monthly checks that are going out to parents of families, uh, uh, sorry, uh, parents of kids that have, um, sorry, let me say that again. Parents who have kids under the age 18. So these payments go out anywhere between $250 and $300 per child per month on an ongoing basis. Okay, sounds pretty nice, right? It's essentially a stimulus check. I mean, it's basically what it is. It's just a smaller payment between $250 and $300 per child per month. So we've also heard the same thing about adult tax credits. Essentially the exact same thing. A monthly check going out to low-income individuals on an ongoing monthly basis. Now, I did not see anything as far as age parameters. I'm guessing that's probably not going to be a thing, but rather it would probably be focused on uh, income that would actually determine if somebody is actually eligible for this payment and who would get it as far as how much they would get it as well and how long it would be ongoing for. So there's been a lot of talk about adult tax credit uh, payments as well. Now, these would be the ongoing monthly payments and or Possibly it would be some type of lump sum payment when somebody actually files a tax return. Just like the CTC, when everybody files their tax return for 2021 in early 2022, that's when they're gonna get the second lump sum payment of the CTC early in 2022. So I don't know if uh, a lot of people realize that, but yeah, you have another big payment coming to you in early 2022. It could be anywhere between $1,500 and $1,800 per child. If you have multiple kids, whoa, you're looking at a pretty big payment in early 2022 as a result of the CTC. We could be seeing the exact same thing as a result of adult tax credit, something very similar to that. So I wanted to come back and address this because I've seen this question down below. Like I said, it's stated in a number of different ways. Essentially is is this our last opportunity to get additional stimulus checks in the current legislation that Congress is working on? And if this opportunity sails, as in the package passes or the package just uh, falls away and doesn't go anywhere, is this our last opportunity? The answer is no, seriously, not at all. Congress could literally write up the legislation at any given point and they could pass it through and they could probably get bipartisan support for it. Realistically, it would only take uh, 60 votes within the Senate. So therefore, it would take all Democrats and it would only take 10 Republicans to realize that may, maybe some low-income individuals need some additional money right now. It probably wouldn't be that hard to convince uh, 60 people in the Senate to actually get that through. Or if the Senate just so wanted to do so, as they work through these additional reconciliation bills in the future, the one that they're currently working on or at some point in the future, they could just simply add it in there and it would be no big deal at all to add it in and get the 50 votes that they need. Well, 51 votes in the Senate, I should say, 51 votes in the Senate to um, actually get it passed through. So. Yeah, this is absolutely not our last opportunity. And one more thing that I wanna talk about too, we've been mentioning this a lot lately too, which is all of these guaranteed basic income programs or uh, basic income programs that we've been seeing pop up all across the country right now. So you never know, by the time that Congress actually gets something done, because we know if they just so want to do so, they can work very fast or they can also work very, very slowly, right? So at any given point, we can maybe see one of these big programs, the universal basic income, a guaranteed basic income, or some type of basic income program roll out on a nationwide level, or possibly just across the every single state 
on a statewide level. I mean, at the rate that they're going right now, it would probably not be too long until all of these major big, big cities across the entire country have all of these UBI and GBI programs going on right now that are actually encompassing thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, right? So that's something else that we've got to watch out there as well because these are direct cash payments, no strings attached payments. You get the money, and basically you can do anything that you want with it. There's no parameters on uh, how you spend that money. So that's what's really cool about these uh, GBI and basic income programs is that they don't sit and monitor you and figure out, okay, you're spending $5 here, you're spending $26 there, oh, let's track all these payments. No, they basically just give you the money and say, here, spend this money how you see fit for your lifestyle and the expenses that you have and the necessities that you have for maybe yourself, you and your spouse, maybe you and your spouse and your kids, or maybe you and your kids, whoever it is in your household. So that's another cool thing that's uh, going on with these uh, guaranteed basic income and basic income programs. So there's a lot out there right now. Realistically, there really is a lot going on out there when it comes to additional cash payments. I know it doesn't really seem like it because we continue to watch Congress very closely and we watch them do essentially nothing, right? But... At the same time, we do have to watch all of these other programs that are going out there and all of these other you know, potential programs that may be introduced and or working their way through Congress at any given point, right? Just remember, there are hundreds of members throughout Congress. At any given point, any one of them could introduce something. And that's all it takes is one of them to introduce something that gets some traction and then they start moving forward with it as they continue to get more people who co-sign on to these, who uh, start backing up some of these movements, some of these ideas, some of these plans. And before you know it, you've got a plan that's actually working. And before you know it, then Congress actually gets passed through. Well, sometimes it works that fast and other times it doesn't really work that fast. But either way, um, so yeah. The long, long-winded answer would be, no, this is definitely not our last opportunity. So you just never know. We've got to continue watching the economic numbers as well, too, because everybody in Congress, the president, economists, pretty much everybody is walk, watching the economic numbers. And the economic numbers, well, I was going to say they don't lie, but realistically, they can be manipulated. So that's something. But uh, what, what we do know is that real life and what people are really experiencing out there does not lie. And we know how that's going, right? We know that people are really struggling right now. And uh, it's only a matter of time until Congress actually figures that out as well and realizes what's going on in the real world, which is a lot of people are still struggling. So anyway, hope this answers the question for those of you that have been wondering, but I thought this was kind of an interesting one as I've seen it pop up many, many times over the last few months. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to talk about this because, um, is something we need to address, right? Is this our last opportunity? And the answer is no, absolutely not. Uh, at any given point, we could see some kind of legislation come up and kind of work their way through with Congress. That's all it would really take. So I've even offered Congress, hey, if you guys want me to write this legislation, I'd be glad to write up one page. It wouldn't even take one page. It'd probably take me about 15 minutes to write it up and uh, get it all done. So if they want me to do it, I'd be happy to write it up, right? So I'd do whatever I possibly can to advocate for all of you. So anyway, thanks again for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe down below, share this video or any others here on the channel with your friends, family, and social media. As we're approaching rapidly 1,800 videos already right here on the channel. And just remember, I'm here to help you out in any way that I can. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe, share the videos, and go back and check out some of the other amazing videos right here for you to enjoy. Thanks again. I appreciate it. I'll catch you again later in the next.